Sir Keir Starmer's troubles deepened last night after an official party report said a Labour government should make low payments to countries once ruled by the British Empire to apologise for colonialism. Allies of the Labour leader immediately sought to distance him from the proposals, blaming them on rogue hard-left followers of his predecessor, Jeremy Corbyn. The report, remaking of the British state, for the many, not the few, argues the UK should make reparation payments and an unreserved apology to all of the countries of the world that the empire invaded and negatively impacted. The 234-page policy document, which was published last week by Sean Patrick Griffin, the party's external governance officer, threatens Sir Keir's plans to rebrand the party around a patriotic agenda. Yet the report carries a forward-signed leader of the opposition's office, London, and is subtitled produced on behalf of the Labour Party. It also calls for. It was previously reported that the document also seeks to scrap knighthoods and other honours in favour of a civic award. MX should be used as a gender-neutral alternative to titles such as Mr. and MRS on forms, a member of Keir Starmer's team has suggested. Alex Sobel, a shadow culture, media and sport minister, wants the government to tell public bodies and private companies to start using MX on forms and documents. Mr. Sobel has also supported contentious trans rights reforms including the abolition of single-sex changing rooms, toilets, and prisons. Women who object are bigots who should not vote Labour, the MP declared. But some Labour MPs worry that issues such as this show that Sir Keir, a former human rights lawyer, is unable to connect with the many working-class voters the party lost in the last election. Labour HQ has already embraced MX. A form used for job applicants since last year offers titles including MX, IND, and miscellaneous. However, Equalities Minister Kemi Badenoch indicated that the government had no plans to push for the compulsory use of MX. Individuals can decide what title they want to use on forms without a formal process, and organizations are free to decide the best way of collecting titles for their needs, she told the Mail on Sunday. The document says. Socialists should seek to reorder the British state and hardwire the constitution in favor of socialist objectives. This must be a central plank of the Labour Party's vision to transform the UK. The paper comes ahead of the UK-wide Constitutional Commission, which Sir Keir has already announced. Last night, one of his allies said, the last leadership were always getting reports like this written in order to keep their friends happy. Fortunately, that's not Labour's approach anymore. The document caps a torrid fortnight for the Labour leader. His poll ratings have slumped, he has had to apologize to Boris Johnson for making false accusations in the Commons, and has had to deal with the fallout after the Mail on Sunday revealed that Shadow Attorney General had described COVID as a gift that keeps on giving four lawyers.